The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White, Limitless Heights to Reach. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1, verse 13. Gird up the loins of your mind, says the Apostle, then control your thoughts, not allowing them to have full scope. The thoughts may be guarded and controlled by your own determined efforts. Think right thoughts, and you will perform right actions. You have then to guard the affections, not letting them go out and fasten upon improper objects. Jesus has purchased you with his own life. You belong to him. Therefore, he is to be consulted in all things as to how the powers of your mind and the affections of your heart shall be employed. Every wrong tendency may be through the grace of Christ repressed, not in a languid, irresolute manner, but with firmness of purpose, with high resolves to make Christ the pattern. Let your love go out for those things that Jesus loved and be withheld from those things that will give no strength to right impulses. With determined energy, seek to learn and to improve the character every day. You must have firmness of purpose to take yourself in hand and to be what you know God would be pleased to have you. Thoughts of God and of heaven are ennobling. There is no limit to the height you may reach, for it will be like swimming in waters where there is no bottom. There is nothing belittling in the pure religion of Christ. The gospel received will bow down the loftiest of human understanding and lay the haughtiest of man low, that God alone may be exalted. But in this it does not dwarf the intellect and cripple the energies. True religion unfolds and calls out the mental energies. Conviction and repentance of sin, renunciation of self and trust in the merits of the blood of Christ cannot be experienced without the individual being made more thoughtful, more intellectual than he was before. No one will become mentally imbecile by having his attention directed to God. Connection with God is connection with all true wisdom.